The colour pink exists only in your imagination. Every colour in the rainbow has a wavelength of light in the visible spectrum, but there's no pink in a rainbow. Your eyes contain three types of cone cell, red, green and blue, which are most sensitive to those wavelengths of light. As your cone cells are stimulated, they send a signal to your brain which creates an image based on that information. For example, when yellow light enters your eye, both the red and green cone cells are stimulated because yellow is between red and green on the spectrum. Your brain receives that information and recognises it as yellow. When you mix red and blue light, the colour in between them is green, but your green cone cell isn't detecting any light of a green wavelength. So if your red and blue cone cells are being stimulated, but there's no green light, your brain invents a new imaginary colour. Pink. This optical phenomenon is also how the pixels of a screen create the colours that you see. Instead of having to have a different pixel for every single colour, each tiny pixel is split into red, green and blue sub-pixels. You can see this for yourself by hacking a macro lens onto the front of your camera phone. So if we hold it up to the screen, we can see the sub-pixels. As the proportions of red, green and blue change, our brains perceive different colours. A full HD display of 1920 by 1080 has a total of 2,073,600 pixels. It's the combination of these millions of tiny pixels all working in unison which creates the image that we see. And this is happening right now as you watch this video. There's no yellow or cyan or magenta light leaving your screen. It's millions of combinations of red, green and blue stimulating your cone cells and tricking your brain. The number of pixels on a screen is known as its resolution. You can change the resolution of this video by clicking the gear in the bottom right corner. Notice the difference between 144p and 1080p. A greater density of pixels gives you a sharper image. There's been a lot of hype about the next generation of resolution, 4K. 4096 by 2160 gives you a whopping 8,847,360 pixels. That is four times as many pixels as in high definition. We have just opened the UK's first digital 3D 4K planetarium, and we use not one, but two 4K projectors to recreate the universe inside our dome. And the way that each of these projectors works is fascinating. Each one contains a series of six lamps. The light from these is split by a prism into red, green and blue. Each of the beams of red, green and blue light hits a digital micromirror device or DMD chip. Each chip measures only 1.38 inches across, but each one has 8.8 .8 million microscopic mirrors on its surface. That's one for every single pixel. Each of the micromirrors is just one-fifth of the width of a human hair. And these mirrors tilt on or off to give you light or dark pixels. And they tilt 5,000 times every second. The proportion of on to off determines how bright the pixel is for that second. After the light is reflected from the micromirror, it is then recombined with the light from the two other chips through a lens and projected onto the screen as a single pixel and then back into your eye. So two projectors with over 53 million microscopic mirrors moving 5,000 times a second creates an image of over 13 million pixels in our dome. At a rate of 120 frames per second, that's 60 frames for each eye with our active 3D technology, our planetarium produces 1.6 billion pixels <laughs> every second. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, share it around and click on this arrangement of astronaut pixels to subscribe. Check out how to make a 3D GIF in this video. And if we've inspired you to try science at home, send us your science videos on Facebook or Twitter. Thanks for watching. You can change the resolution. 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 Resolution.